Hello and welcome to Visit File Coast. In today's video we're going looking for lighthouses and you're probably thinking that I'm looking in completely the wrong direction but in actual fact this is one of Fleetwood's three lighthouses. Right in the centre of the shot, hidden in the, the slightly misty morning, is Fleetwood's wire light. It's busy falling over um, because it's, well, clogging on for 200 years old and it's, it's, it's made of wood and it's been in the, the channel of the river wire for a long time. But it's one of three lighthouses in Fleetwood. Fleetwood is unique. So for this section, we're going to look at the wire light. And in between the post and the white boat, you might just be able to see it. That's the full extent of the zoom on my camera. And I've got it balanced on a, a, a post so that it doesn't wobble. And it's two miles off Fleetwood and it marks the entrance to the channel. And it started to, you'll probably be able to see that it's, it's on a lean. And it started to fall over in July 2017. However, just slowly zoom out, you can start to get some idea of just how far away it is when I do that. So we're, we're stood right on the, the seafront. So when it started to fall over, Lancashire County Council, the Duchy of Lancaster, Trinity House, ABP, all decided that they knew nothing about its ownership, they didn't know who it belonged to, um, they were accepting no responsibility because obviously whoever is accepted responsibility got the problem and the cost of sorting it out. And then Fleetwood Civic Society tried to get it listed and even Historic England refused the request for listing. So we're just going to go down onto the beach here and I'm just going to just going to walk round this corner. So <clears throat> you can see the post there in the channel. That's the channel of the River Wire. And this is another marker post here at the side of it. And then the River Wire goes round there into the entrance to the to the dock um, near to the RNLI. So let lower go on. So Wire Light was built in 1839-40 and it was actually known as Fleetwood Port Lighthouse when it was first built and it was built by a guy called Alexander Mitchell and it was the first screw pile lighthouse in Britain and in fact the world's first screw pile structure and it's built on seven piles and on our Visit Fleetwood website there's a, a, a page of information that's got some old pictures on it that includes our old falling down friend and what it looked like in its heyday. So that's, that's well worth a look actually. And you can see when you come down onto the beach, I mean we've had quite a, quite a wide tidal range this weekend. So the, the tide's gone out quite a long way. But you can see when you come down here just how dangerous it would be trying to get into dock if you didn't have proper navigation markers and imagine in the 1840s when this was first built and you know at that point they must have been navigating from the stars and and from um, well basic information so you can understand why they wanted proper guidance into shore it must have been well hair raising so the actual structure is 40 foot or 12 meters tall and it's a two-story building with the, a, a, a space in it for the the lantern keeper and then in 1948 a fire wrecked the building um, so an automatic beacon was installed and that lantern is now at Fleetwood Museum with its um, gas fog on and it's about four foot tall it's actually quite big and then in 1979 that beacon was replaced with a lit buoy 
so the, the actual Y lighthouse is, is redundant now. And while we're on the beach, there's Law Lighthouse. And the other one is the Upper Lighthouse. So we're gonna just walk round the corner of the Euston Hotel and you'll be able to see where the other one is. And there's a reason why Fleetwood's got three lighthouses. Are you ready? It's just gonna come into view in a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> she says, just a second, just a second, just a second. There is another one, I promise. I think I'm not walking fast enough. And it's there. There you go. That's the third one. Let's just move out of the way of the balcony of the Houston. There you go, that's the third one. So these three lighthouses, when lined up with each other, gave ships safe passage into dock. So you can see that we've got one there, just there, one here. And then the third one, there. So this is Lower Lighthouse, otherwise known as Beach Lighthouse, and this is on the Esplanade. And it's a, a lovely stone-built building. Both of the, the land ones were designed by Decimus Burton, and they were both opened in 1840. So the light at the top of the Lower Lighthouse, or Beach Lighthouse, is actually 30 foot above high water. So it can be seen for nine miles out at sea. Just quite a long way, really. And you can see the, the channel of the, the river wire as it sort of bends and snakes as it comes towards Fleetwood into the, into the port. And that gave, when the ships had got all three of the lights of the lighthouses lined up, one one slightly above each other, they knew that they'd got safe passage into into port, bearing in mind that at that point they'd got very little in the way of navigation equipment. So we'll walk we'll walk over to Ferros Lighthouse and we'll go and take a look at that. So we just crossed the road from where we were a minute ago at the side of the lower lighthouse, walked past the Euston Park Gardens and we're on Upper Loon Street now at the side of the upper lighthouse. So you can see I've turned round through 180 degrees and you can see that they're, they're, they're lined up. So upper lighthouse is 90 foot above high water and it can be seen from 13 miles so that the, these three lighthouses are sort of in stepped increments so that one one lines up above the other above the other above the other and then when all three are lined up you know that you're heading in the right direction so upper lighthouse is actually named after the ancient lighthouse Ferris of Alexandria and it stands on Ferris, Ferros Street near um, North, Albert, North Albert Street which will become clear in a moment when we get to the end of here so you can see why I started at the end of that little street because it's such a big thing that it won't actually fit in the viewfinder which is very inconsiderate. You'd think they'd make lighthouses small enough to fit in your, in your viewfinder, wouldn't you? So this is Ferros Street and that's the, the channel of the River Wire just at the back of there. And that's North Albert Street there, where the tramway runs into the town centre that way. And this is the base of the lighthouse. So. Lower Lighthouse is usually opened 
um, for Heritage Open Days which normally take place in September under normal circumstances when the world's normal. Um, I'm not aware, in certainly in the 20 odd years that I've lived here, that Upper Lighthouse has been open. Um, but there are 107 steps to the top and then a 10 foot ladder. Ooh, that sounds a bit a bit drastic so could you imagine me going up a hundred and steps and a ten foot ladder and walking around that little platform at the top of there if you've been watching these videos for a while you'll know that I will be saying at that point I'm going to jump off terrible terrible at heights I am so I would not want to be a lighthouse keeper it would not be it would not be one of the jobs that I would want to do <coughs> So we'll just walk round here and you'll be able to see that these two lighthouses line up. So can you see can you see the lower one there in the gap through the trees? Just there. And that's how that's how they work. So that's today's that's today's fascinating glimpse into the past and how how the town of Fleetwood developed and grew and became so don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed to our YouTube channel and you've signed up for your weekly email newsletter and then you'll get all of the interesting videos and posts news and everything that that we publish on a regular basis there's lots lots more to come and then when we're chasing blue skies you'll get them as well so you'll have a lovely day now and we'll see you soon bye